Hello YouTube, I'm Bruce Lawson, Commissioning Editor for Smashing TV and this is Kitter Lee, the Smashing Magazine mascot. Uh, this is an excerpt from a webinar with Leonie Watson who's using her screen reader to uh, move around my site using HTML5 elements such as header, footer and main to show you why they're so important. Uh, and if you pay five or nine US dollars a month, you get free access to three webinars like this, smashingmagazine.com slash membership. Anyway, enjoy and make your website accessible. Form the intercept survey month, smashingmas.gov, Bruce Lawson site, 914. I'm going to Bruce first since he very bravely volunteered his website. Enter so. leaving menus about land, oh. land, Bruce Lawson's personal site, Mozilla Firefox, Bruce Lawson's personal site, 27 regions, 21 headings and 187 links, Bruce Lawson's personal site, visited heading level 1 link, Bruce Lawson's Lawson's. So I'm going to stop that there. First thing you learn when you've got a screen reader is the key to stop it talking. There is only so much talking in your ear you can cope with during the course of the day. And in most screen readers, the control key is what will stop it talking. What you heard then was the screen reader do several things as the page loaded. It told me the title of the site, Bruce Lawson's personal site. That's the bit that's contained in the title element inside uh, the head elements on the page. These days, I understand in, in the visual appearance of browsers, that's not a very visible piece of information. Back in the day when I last saw a browser, uh, the title was very often displayed quite prominently at the top of the browser window. But for a screen reader user, it's still the first piece of information that you encounter on the page. And it's incredibly useful because it's often the first guarantee or first confirmation that you've got that you've ended up on the page that you intended to reach. You might also have heard that the screen reader then just gave a quick summary of some of the key elements on the page. It told me there were some regions on the page and some headings. So already that's given me a bit of a clue as to how I can start exploring this page. One thing you can't do as a blind screen reader user is take in the page at a whole glance. Uh, when most sighted people look at a page, they'll kind of notice, yep, I can see the header and the footer and maybe the navigation off to one side and a content area somewhere. But of course, you can't do that sort of holistic assessment of a page as a screen reader user. What you can do, though, is use the regions of a page. So uh, in JAWS, if I hit the R key, we'll start to explore the page in regional chunks like this. Navigation region. So it tells me there's a navigation region on the page. And if I hit that key again, search the site clickable search region. I've got a, a search region on the page. Main region. A main region, which uh, tells me all things being cool. That's the main uh, content area of the page. Heading level two link reading list banner. Uh, and then I come to uh, a banner area. So something that's using the alert. Laura Katz has left the meeting. And posted in content information. Uh, some content information. So uh, that's the uh, the footer there. And we can keep going through the page uh, like this to find the different sort of chunks. And all this is picked up uh, probably by the use of the HTML5 sectioning elements, header, footer, nav, main. Or it could possibly be because Bruce is using uh, the ARIA role equivalent, uh, role equals banner, role equals content info for footer, role equals main, role equals navigation. It's, so the, the, element. Element. it's the element, is it good? Yeah. So that's by far the best way to do it is uh, nice, simple, accessible HTML. Uh, but in doing so, in that one shortcut, I can move from big chunk of the page to the next. And it starts to give me a sense of the whole, the whole page, as in the, the key blocks that make it up. Bruce Lawson. So if I go back to the top of the page, uh, another exploration strategy I've got is to use headings. And this is really common amongst a lot of screen readers. So what I'm going to do is combine the two. I'm going to use the, the, the region shortcut to go back to that main content area of the page. Visited heading level one link Bruce Lawson's personal site. Dan navigation region. Search this site clickable. Main region. So we are back to the top of the main region. Now I remember that the summary my screen reader gave me when the page first loaded told me that there were some headings available. So now I'm going to use another shortcut, H, and again this is pretty common to, to all screen readers, to start using headings as a way of navigating through the page. So if I hit H the first time. Reading list heading level two link. I get a reading list. Uh, am I interested in Bruce? No, I'm not interested there, so I'm going to keep going. On smart TV. Yes, heading level two link. Oh, on smart TVs, that sounds quite interesting, but I'll keep going just for the sake of exploration. Reading list heading level two link. Uh, another reading list. Reading list heading level two link. Another reading list. Reading list heading level two link. 
Gosh, Bruce, you're a busy reading person. The practical value of semantic HTML uh, heading level two link. This looks like my kind of thing, the practical value of semantic HTML. So uh, I've been able to explore through the page using a couple of just very simple strategies that's helped me move to the main area of the page, because that seemed like a good place to start, and then to use headings to skim down the list of Bruce's articles. Uh, and now I found one I'm interested in. I can hit enter. enter. Main region, article region, the practical value of semantic Three. HTML heading okay. level two link, permanent link to the practical value of semantic HTML, Bruce Lawson's personal site, the practical value of semantic HTML, Mozilla Firefox. For so again, then we got the title uh, read out uh, just before the name of the browser. And again, it's got that confirmation that I've used uh, or hit the link and, and been successfully taken to the place I wanted to go. So um, yeah, full kudos to, to Bruce for using lots of nice HTML touches that make my experience as a screen reader user, you know, nice and easy for navigating around and finding content.